Hello, it is Beckett in Astro with your chin and Tillman. Today I finally realized something that I was not ready for what it would mean for my life. And that doesn't sound good at all. Mm. It is like this. You know those movies where there was a genie that would give you three wishes and you ask for anything and suddenly it will appear? Yeah, I love those movies. Action. We would have so many puppies if a genie showed up here. <gasps> Puppy. Agreed. But imagine finding out the power of that genie is real. It is all around you. But you're going to have to do a lot of work to make those wishes come true. They don't just happen. Where am I going to find that many puppies? You see, in our reading for today, we have some good news from the book of Jeremiah. It says, The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel. God is going to do everything God promised to do. And God promised a lot of good stuff. That seems like a good thing. The reading goes on with a part that we Christians think is talking about Jesus. Jeremiah says, In those days I will cause a righteous branch to spring up for David, and he shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. Jesus will bring good things, right? Justice is real. Things are fair, I think. And righteousness, that when you soft and say things like, Righteous! <laughs> that sounds all good. It would be all good things if Jesus was a genie. But Jesus doesn't walk like a genie. Jesus only lived on earth for a short time, like 33 years. He was old. Sure, but how much justice and righteousness could he bring to the world in 33 years? He brought a lot on a quest. But now that you're talking about it, I don't like where this is going. In our other reading from Mark, Jesus calls his 12 disciples, hello there, his 12 friends, and sends them out two by two. What do you think they are supposed to be doing? Spreading justice and righteousness. Yet picking up where Jesus left off. And those disciples aren't around anymore, right? So whose job is it now? Don't say it. It's our job, isn't it? If we want those wishes to come true for a better world, a better country, a better place to live, righteousness and justice for all, we have to pick up where Jesus left off. But where am I going to get that many puppies? Jesus was more into multiplying loaves and fishes, not puppies. I'd come to your church if you gave me a puppy. I wouldn't come if you gave me a piece of old fish. That's a good point, actually. That's it for this children's sermon. Amen! Woo!